I thoroughly enjoyed Outlast, and Outlast 2 is on the way, I thought, let's revisit the Looney Bin. And I haven't made a video in a long time, so there's that as well. The premise of the story is, Upshur, weirdest name ever, is a freelance investigative reporter who is investigating the Mount Massive Asylum because of an anonymous tip he received from an informant. The informant reports that unethical experiments are being carried out on the patients. The most common name of the game are the aggressive patients. There are some that just sit and chill watching TV, banging their head against walls, and some just sit and chill on the roof. They're kind of like these guys from Fallout. Throughout the game, Chris Walker, aka this guy, is chasing you, like, all the freaking time. I only found out he was called Chris Walker because of the wiki. As far as I'm aware, he isn't mentioned anywhere else. He isn't the only thing chasing you though, you have these guys, the monster chodemen. That's not what they're called. One of them wants my tongue and my liver and I'm still not sure why. From what I remember though, these guys pretty much one shot you. It would be impolite. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. I want his tongue. And liver, they are yours. There's nothing worse than being in a mental asylum than being chased by two men with their dicks out who want to harvest my organs and eat me. Paragons of patience, Job like in the suppression of our desires. But now, now, now we indulge. Yes, his tongue and his liver, yours, mine. There's only one way out of this, and it's reasonable. Jump out of the window. Bye bye! You then have this guy, who at first sounds like a normal, helping, normal person who saves your life, takes you up a hamster elevator. Yay! Bye, crazy people! Oh. Well, shit. Now prepare for cliche mad scientist slash doctor character. Witness or whatever, you must be exhausted. Huh? Let's take a break, huh, buddy? The old two martini lunch. Hmm? Have a little confab. Blah blah. Failure than you look. A little cardio wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go. Arms and legs inside the car at all times. He actually chops off two of your fingers, it's the only thing you can quote unquote kill. Because you kind of don't kill, but you do kill him. <laughs> this section of the game is probably the hardest bit, as you have to sort of like run around in circles till you get enough time to move a crate out the door. It takes ages to move, and once you get to obviously you die, which is kind of the premise of this kind of game. I still don't know why we're trying to locate and follow this priest guy. He injects you with this some funky shit at the beginning of the game, which you never find out what. And then he kills himself. He dies like a cross between Jesus and the Human Torch. <laughs>
He then fixes the elevator so you can escape, but instead of taking the ground level where you can run out the doors, it takes you to a secret underground lab where the story really unfolds. This school guy tells you about their experiments and how the wall rider you've been hearing about is not a supernatural being, but in fact a technological entity made up of nanites. With nano machines. You then have to go and find the host body, turn off its life support, and thus killing it. But once it dies, it kind of enters you, and then you kind of run and walk away trying to escape the facility and get gunned down by some mercs. At that point, the screen goes black, and then you hear the being murder the mercs, and the credits roll. Oh, and your friendly neighborhood Chris Walker gets riggedy, riggedy, wrecked, sir!